Hi, my name is Alex Roth and I'm an ecologist with Friends of the Mississippi River. And today we're going to go on a short walk to locate and identify some common non-native plants that are likely to invade our native woodlands and prairies in Minnesota along the Mississippi River. So I'll give you some tips on how to control these non-native plants. And you'll also learn how to become involved in some Friends of the Mississippi River sponsored events that help your community get rid of these harmful invasive plants. Leafy spurge grows two to three feet tall with smooth stems, lance-shaped leaves, and yellow flowers in an umbrella-shaped cluster. The stems produce a white sap when broken. Plants should be pulled and bagged in the spring. Honeysuckle has opposite, non-serrated leaves. The bark is tan and becomes shaggy as plants age. Honeysuckle has white and pink flowers and bright yellow to red berries. Removal should be done by pulling or cutting. Buckthorn has green leaves with small serrations along the edges. It produces blackberries in the fall and its bark is gray with small white spots. Removing buckthorn involves pulling it out of the ground or cutting it and applying herbicide to the stump. Garlic mustard grows low to the ground in the first year and produces a tall stalk in the second with white flowers and long green seed pods with hundreds of seeds each. Removal should be done by pulling and bagging plants in the spring. Burdock has large, wavy, heart-shaped leaves. Plants produce stems up to five feet tall with thistle-like purple flowers and burrs that stick to clothing and fur. Removal should be done with a shovel, making sure to get as much of the deep tap root as possible. Spotted knapweed has dull gray-green stems with bright pinkish-purple flowers emerging from oval flower heads. Spotted knapweed can re-sprout from its root, so it needs to be pulled out root and all. Crown vetch is a short plant with many small paired leaflets. It produces pink or purple flowers and forms dense carpets in prairies and open areas. Multiple years of pulling, mowing, or burning are necessary for removal. Thanks for joining me on this invasive species walk. If you'd like to learn more or to get involved at one of our many yearly volunteer events, just visit our website.